to a new tonight at 10. Something you don't see every day taking over the Quad City streets this weekend as people lace up their shoes ready to run. As News 8's Charles Hart shows us tonight, their mission is red hot. Hitting the streets with a purpose. It's a great way for us to stay connected to our community. Through having fun and giving back to charities. But I've been to all of them. It's my favorite event of the year. It's so much fun. The Red Dress Run. And I wouldn't miss it for anything. Return to Davenport for the 12th year Saturday. Most of our people here are repeats. It's hardly ever that we get a whole bunch of new folks. And again, it's a testament to the fun time that we get to have. More than 150 walkers and runners flooded area streets. This is a tradition that actually started in the 80s in California when a lady showed up to a run with her friend, but she had just come from traveling and she was in her red dress and heels. She went ahead and did the run anyway. All while supporting King's Harvest Pet Rescue No Kill Shelter and the Quad City Animal Welfare Center. We always choose somebody local and um, our kennel puts up some votes for who they would like to see the money go to. And everybody has to go out and find the marks on the trail. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt where you have to solve the riddle of the marks to determine where you go next. The event was put on by the Quad City's Hash House Harriers, a group raising money for special causes. There's just an energy about everyone who's part of the group. Everyone's here to have a good time. Everyone's here to smile and and to just be silly. Running the community into a brighter future. It makes me so proud that everybody continues to show up, that everybody's willing to make the, the distance to get here with us, and that we're going to give back to our community. In Davenport, Charles Hart, WQAD News 8. The festivities continue tomorrow in Rock Island at Radical Effect Brew Works in Rock Island.